here's how you save a prompt in the Harpa Chrome extension. So the Harpa Chrome extension is what I use to run my page aware ChatGPT prompts. Up here, I have something called Harpa. It's a Chrome extension. If you're watching this, uh, wherever you're watching this, I put a link to Harpa. Right here, I've got a series of prompts. So let's just say I wanted to create um, an AI image prompt for this blog. I press this little slash and that pulls up all my saved prompts. So that's how you pull up a saved prompt is by cl clicking your little slash. Then I can see all of the prompts that I have saved here on ChatGPT. And mine look like a lot, but I actually have multiple blogs. So I'll have the same prompt with different color schemes and things like that for each of my blogs. So let's just say I want to run create a featured blog photo. I know that I have one called FEM Blogger and then it's gonna run that prompt for me, okay? So that's how you pull up a prompt. Now let me show you how you save a prompt. Now remember, Harpa works with ChatGPT, it works with Claude, it works with Gemini. You plug it into your AI and it makes it page aware and you can do all kinds of miraculous things with it. But let's just say we're gonna create a new prompt that we wanna save. So um, next time we want this to create an AI image prompt um, for this blog. Now, in order for it to read the page, I've got to put in this little parameter right here, page, or you can just drop it in from up here. So page content, page URL, page selection, page title. I just want it to read the whole page, okay? That's got to be inside every prompt that you want to run the page. So create an AI image prompt for this blog to create a 16.9 featured blog photo. Use feminine colors, you know, something along those lines. Very simple, that's a very simple prompt. Today I'm not really teaching you prompting as much as I am teaching you how to, how to pull up a saved prompt and how to save a prompt. So then I'm just gonna press enter and as you can see now, this is going to create my prompt. Now, before I save that prompt, I'm always going to run it first to make sure it did what I wanted it to do. Now, once you get the output, this is where we can actually save this prompt so that next time we can pull it up here in Harpa. Okay, so see it messed up because it actually gave me the image. I don't want the image. So I gotta change that because it's it. I need to be very specific, you see? So I'm gonna do create an AI image prompt, not an image, just the prompt for this blog. Okay, now I'm gonna run it again. The reason why I do that is right now I still like my third party app better, but that could change over time. So now it's giving me the AI image prompt and that looks great. Now I would wanna go run that in my AI image editor and make sure it comes out good. When I'm ready, this is how you save your prompt in Harpa. Right here, hover over your original prompt, not this output. See where it's blue? That was my original prompt. So right here, you can copy it or you can bookmark it. When you bookmark it, you create a reusable command. So, or we call those prompts. Command, prompts, GPTs, they have a million names. I'm gonna click save. Now, this is the geeky part. It, it looks overwhelming when you first look at it. All you have to do is go right here into title and save this how you will remember it. I'm gonna put feminine featured blog photo. It doesn't matter. You're the only one that sees that. It's for you, but make sure you save this in a way you'll remember it or put these all in a spreadsheet so you'll remember what prompt does what, whatever you wanna do. Leave the rest alone and then click save. Now, the next time that you're in any one of your pages that you want to run that prompt on, just click on your Harpa extension down here, press the slash, and then either start typing in the keyword, or as you can see up here, we've got it right here, and then it will run the prompt for you every time. So that's how you pull up a saved prompt in Harpa, and that is how you save a prompt in Harpa. Hopefully that was helpful.